Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study. Going to be showing you guys a video here on Tinker Swim Trading Platform, how to add exponential moving average studies. This is a question I get quite common. I do have another YouTube video going in depth on exponential moving averages. It's actually one of the first ones I put on YouTube. Uh, so feel free to check that out if you have questions about the exponential moving average because this video is just going to show you how to add it onto the Tinker Swim Trading Platform so you can pull it up and save it. So let's get it started. You'll go to your studies tab here. You are going to go to add study. And you're going to scroll here to moving averages. And you have all your averages here. So moving average exponential. And you can see that a TO line is added here as the default. And you right click and you go to edit moving average exponential customizing, which pulls up here. And what you want is the closing price here, the length, so the amount of data, the number of candles you want to influence the study. So you can pull it up here too, it gives you a very brief explanation on what all these parameters mean exactly. But personally, to set up the 9 EMA, it does a default for you. This would be your length. If you want to set up a 21 EMA, you would just edit here hit 21 and that's it you're good to go but for now i'm gonna leave it as a nine because i do want a nine ema set up it's going to show the study name uh you could show plot names as well show input names if you don't want it on the right side of the axis you can have it on the left side of the axis by just toggling here left axis and then you can have the style whether you want it to show up like this Square, rectangle, triangle, arrows, all that good stuff. I like the default line. And then you can set whatever color you want here. You can make the line thick, thin, style, dotted, long dotted. And uh, that is about it. Uh, so what I do here is OK. And then guess what? What if I want to compare this to a 21 EMA, right? Very similar steps. You can go to studies, you add a study, go to moving averages, right? Moving average exponential. And now you have a second one added on here. So we're gonna edit it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to the 21. Now, what you're gonna notice is that you have two lines with the same color. That can be awfully confusing. So, I'm gonna change it to this pink one here that stands out perfectly. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. And then, if you really wanna get fancy here, you could do breakout signals. And you can see where, you see these little arrows here? Um, the down arrows, up arrows showing you breakouts. Um, that's something you can add to me personally. It's too much noise on the chart. I like to leave this as no Apply and be and that's it like but before I end the video I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick here With adding studies to dick or swim to save you a lot of time What you can do is you can save the study set and I'm gonna save it as EMA 921 Why is this important? And of course, I have it already. I want to replace it. Yes. So the reason why this is important is, let's say um, these studies are not here, right? I would have to go through that process of adding them all over again. Well, here's the beauty of it. You go to studies. Since we saved it, EMAs, 921, load study set, boom, done. Very instant. That will save you so much time on adding and removing studies while working on multiple charts at the same time so guys if you found this video helpful please leave a like and if you have any questions you can reach out to me whenever subscribe stay on board for more content because i've been getting some feedback about these thinkorswim videos and i'm definitely going to post some more to help you guys out with any questions you may have so on that note, I will see you in the next one.